2019 Porsche 911S. Thank you. What's going on? I was watching Good Morning America and Janet Yellen said that 1.3 million people filed for unemployment. And there are currently 18, almost 19,000 people on unemployment. What I want you to understand is this 800 plus, 800,000 plus people filing for unemployment every week is higher than the 670,000, which was at the height of the Great Recession. So what we've had this year when unemployment was 6 million a week down to now up, now it's going back up and we're gonna talk about why unemployment is going back up and what you can do about it. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your corporate coach, your money coach, teaching you how to start businesses, make more money, and have a better life. All right, so I hadn't talked about this in previous videos, but this is where I think we are. We're past pandemic layoffs. Now we're into corporate layoffs and we're into corporate failure layoffs. We're going to have very high unemployment, which is going to rival the unemployment of the last great recession for the rest of the year. Because this is one of the things. Many businesses, many small businesses have closed. And many of these people, they got laid off they went back to work they got laid off they went back to work and then they got that call we're closing you no longer have a job and sorry to hear, sorry to tell you that and this is where we are and this year is going to be very very strange economically because you have game stop you have bed bath beyond you have amc theaters and you have people playing these stock market games and people are like really desperate because one of the things that I saw was that people have been forever transformed. More people have been exposed to the stock market. More people have been exposed to money-making schemes and more people, cause these folks are desperate. They're desperate. I mean, you don't have no job. You have no money. You're about to be evicted. Your car got repoed many, many, sectors of people in America are in a very, very bad situation and it's going to get worse. Now, in 2019, 2018, 2017, I was telling you guys that this recession was coming. I did not have a clue that it was gonna be this pandemic thing. I had no clue, but I knew the recession was coming because the economic fundamentals of the economy were weak. And this is one of the reasons that when this pandemic went through the economy, it was such a knockout punch because the economy was already weak. And this is one of the things, Donald J. Trump was tooting the amazing stock market. The stock market is not the economy. The stock market represents 9,000 companies out of 30 million companies. So the, as you can see with the GameStop, and all of this marketplace manipulation and all of these games are playing, that this isn't really the real economy. And what's gonna happen as we move forward, the real economy is going to start popping up. One of the things that I wanna tell you guys, like, you know, I was saying this in 2017, 2018, 2019, I was telling you guys to get ready. I was telling you guys to start a corporation. I was telling you guys to start a business. And some of you listened, thank God. But most of you didn't. Most of you were comfortable. 
you had your job, you were making money, you were living okay, you were driving a decent car, you didn't really have a sense of urgency. Now, this is what's gonna happen for the next five years. This pandemic thing is not going to disappear in 2021. We will probably start to really work our way out of it in 2022, 2023. And right now, there are many people in the economy who are acting like there is no pandemic. Uh, I have a friend who went out to karaoke the other night and nobody in the karaoke club was wearing the mask. Uh, these folks, and actually, she actually had COVID. So she's already got it and she was down like two days. So, you know, it is what it is. But this is gonna be with us and this is going to create many, many opportunities if you are a corporate citizen. If you are a regular person in America, just with a job, living your life, doing your thing, you're gonna be in harm's way. Hopefully, you're not one of those people who are gonna get laid off. Hopefully, you're not one of those people who are gonna get evicted. Hopefully, you're not one of those people who are gonna get your vehicle repossessed. These are never gonna get repossessed because they were paid for before I drove them off the lot. And this is one of the things that I, you guys have got to get into. Uh, with the corporate citizen lifestyle, you actually have money. Now, many of the YouTube educators are teaching you to invest, even Grant Cardone. And, you know, Grant Cardone is a very interesting case. Grant Cardone says cash is trash. You shouldn't hold on to money. You should invest it. But if you listen to what Grant Cardone did for many years, Grant Cardone saved money. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it. But for many years, he saved a lot of money. Now he's talking about don't save money, invest, invest. And here, here's the thing. If you don't have a gang of money, because essentially, you know, let's just go ahead and talk about me. Uh, I'm not going to do real estate. I'm not getting in the stock market. I'm not doing any of that stuff until I get a gang of money where I can throw it into an investment and get a large return. You know, as I said, you know, uh, buying a rental house and getting two to 300 bucks a month cash flowing, that don't turn me on. That, that just doesn't turn me on. So for you to be an investor, and like I said, a lot of the people who made a lot of money with GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath Beyond, and these other shorted stocks, they were at the right time, at the right place with the right information. Someone asked me, did I get into GME? And I, I like, I, I didn't, because I'm not a stock person. I don't really know anything about the stock market. And one of the things I've learned is not to put my hands on things I don't know about. Because essentially, I don't listen to the internet like, hey, you know, uh, I think Bitcoin is going back up right now. I don't really care. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And this is one of the things that you, as an American, need to have a sense of urgency because you know with me paying off my uh, credit card bill there was a sense of urgency because i'm used to treating my credit cards like debit cards i don't like seeing a big ass balance on my credit card and i've been that way for many years And one of the things that um, I have to deliver to you guys is you got to develop a sense of urgency. If right now your life is fine, this is the time for you to take action. If right now you're paying your bills on time, you got a little money, this is the time for you to take actions because let's talk about 2019, I was making many videos talking that the recession was coming and how you had to prepare. If, you're, weren't, if you didn't prepare in 2019, you didn't have time to get ready in 2020. And what, this is one of the things that happens when you're in a bad financial situation. It gets worse quicker because once, once one bad thing happens, then something else happens, then something else happens, then something else happens, and the hole keeps getting bigger and bigger. But when times are good, you should make them better. 
And this is why I say you need to become a corporate citizen. Because let's talk about GameStop and the manipulation. And also, I was listening to the Wall Street Trapper, and I agree 100% with him. The retail investors, if you calculate how much money they had, because the average person doesn't have $5,000. So there was 3 million of them, and I just said if 2.2 million of them had 5,000, that's almost, that's a billion and then another. So like the Redditors had maybe a billion five to play with. One hedge fund has more money than them. And what I think happened is one of the hedge funds went onto their side and put in two to three or four billion. And this moved the market and moved the stock. And once again, it was a beautiful moment. It happened and people made money. But let's talk about this. Becoming a corporate citizen is a journey and you need to make some decisions. I, I did a class, I did two classes this week and I, I got some very interesting questions. Uh, one of the things you have to do is establish your corporation, the corporation of you. Why? Because that's something that you can control, that's something you own, and that's something that you can pass on to your children if you get it set up correctly. And once again, you, you need to have a sense of urgency. You need to take action because like if your life is good right now, this is the time to take action right now. Because now, once again, once things start going bad, and this is one of the things that you see, I see it all the time with YouTube videos, how to fix your credit in 30 days, how to do this really quickly. How to, And here's the thing, as someone who was homeless, uh, change isn't quick. Change takes time. Change is a process. When I was in that boarding house and I, I was in that bathroom that day and I was looking in the mirror and I was like, dude, you need to change. And that day I started making better decisions. I started doing things better. And it was like six months before I actually saw the results. Uh, recently, I've been doing something that's called alternate day fasting. I started in October. I lost 35 pounds, but that's now. But if I didn't start in October, I wouldn't be here now. And th this is one of the things that you've got to rid yourself of that you're going to do some super fast. You're going to do some super quick. You got to let that go. That That's just not how the game is played. So. Yes, game stock and Bitcoin and a, a very small percentage of people made a lot of money. A very small percentage of people. People win the lottery. It happens, but does it happen to you? So if you get on this corporate citizen track of building your corporation, building your businesses and doing this while you have a job, and let's talk about this. If your life is good right now, your job is paying you, you, you're paying your bills, you're able to put a little money away, this is the time to take action. Right now. You cannot wait until it starts going sideways. And this, this is what messes up so many people. They wait until it's bad. And when it's bad, it's too late. But you know, you're like in a situation. Uh, I know someone who literally got evicted, had to move in with her sister, and her sister lived in a one bedroom apartment, and she and her two kids were sleeping in the living room. And at this point, she started trying to do all this stuff. The horse had left the barn. You've been evicted. You living with your sister. You lost your job. At that point, to create something, and this is something I used to get, all of the time. I used to get this all of the time with the storage auction stuff. Hey, Glendon, what do you have that I can make five to $10,000 a month within two to three months? And oh yeah, it can't cost too much. People are living in a fantasy world. Once it slides to the bad, you're looking at six months to a year to straighten that out while you're in it. So the best thing, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. And this is one of the things, I've been harping on this, I've been talking about this, I've been pushing this, I've been like, 
screaming and insulting people and being mean to people in the comments. Like, get your ass in gear, bruh. Don't be waiting around because what's going to happen? 1.3 million people got laid off last week. This is going to happen in 2021. This is going to be, like I said in the other video, you may have your job right now, but that may not be the case tomorrow. And if you're sitting around, taking your time, wasting time, getting caught up, you know, you're in a situation where you could be caught on the bad side. You could be caught up the creek with no paddle, no boat, nothing. Like this chick, I know she used to, she used to make $90,000 a year. And she lost her job, had some money saved, went through that. And now she's living with her sister in a one bedroom apartment. Six months ago, she was good. Now, she is one of those people right now. Do you understand that more adults are living with their parents than ever before? Because they can't make it because they're, once again, they didn't prepare for calamity. They didn't prepare for it. Because like I said, this year, we're going to see high unemployment numbers. The whole year, I guarantee you because I've been doing these videos and I've been talking about unemployment and it jumped up. And this is something else too. It's kind of hard to Google this information because I heard Janet Yellen say it from her mouth that we had 1.3 million people who filed for unemployment. She's getting information that we're not getting. I don't even know if she meant to have said that. I don't know if she admit to let that information out, but this tells you that it's getting worse for a group of people. If you're not an entrepreneur, you don't have a business, you don't control your destiny, you can become one of those 1.3 million people who don't have a job. And at that point, this is when things start to get tight. I have been laid off 20 some years ago. Last time I was laid off and I said, never again was that going to happen to me and it hasn't happened. So you guys got to take action. I'm going to do uh, some webinars and some stuff talking about this corporate citizen thing and the things that you need to do to take action. And I'm going to be putting together some more training because essentially uh, I may put this video up. I got a webinar I'm running ads on and actually had my first conversion the other day. I was real happy about that. So one of the things you have to understand and one of the things that you have to acknowledge is time waits for nobody. If you get in that bad situation, you're gonna be in that bad situation. And it's gonna take you some time to work yourself out that bad situation. I don't want you living with your sister sleeping on the living room sofa because she lives in a one bedroom apartment and together y'all can't come up with two thousand dollars cash because you're both just existing you're just living you're not really thriving you're not growing you're not doing better year after year after year it's just kind of the same old and then something bad happens and then you go down and this is part of the global reset that many, many folks are going to shift. A lot of people who are currently homeowners will not be homeowners in the future and they will be renters. The rental market is going to boom. So if you wanna get yourself some rental real estate in the next 10 years, you're gonna be good because there's gonna be so many renters out here and we're gonna see a big shift. We're gonna see, um, like this is something else too. Uh, MG, the mortgage guy, did this video talking about white home ownership went up to not to the highest rate in nine years and black home ownership went down. Once again, you need to get yourself some assets. You need to self get yourself a house. You need to get busy. You need to get you a plan because I'm here to tell you it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse. And if you are not setting yourself up for success 
and not setting yourself up for winning and you just out here living, going to karaoke, uh, having mimosas, drinking cheddar, you know, eating cheddar biscuits, you just enjoying your life. And then when it goes to the bad, you're not gonna be ready. You're not gonna be ready. So below, I have the money management course, which is very important. I'm gonna revamp that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that and some other stuff. And I'm getting ready to do some webinars to teach you guys things that you need to do so that you don't go to the bad. Because, I mean, the unemployment at the height of the Great Recession was like 670,000. That's high as it got. This, from March up to now, we've been having weekly numbers that have been way higher than that. And here's the thing, it can get worse. I know you don't want to hear that because the first round of layoffs were pandemic related. The second rounds of layoffs were corporate related and the third rounds of layoffs are going to be corporate related because corporate America is like we can do more with less. And it's just a matter of time before automation takes over and you don't have no job. I mean, it, it, it's coming. It ain't a matter of if this is going to happen. It's a matter of when this is going to happen. For the last 12 years, I've been working from home. I don't have to get in the car. I don't have to go to no one's job. I've been working. I've been 100% in control of my destiny, which is kind of scary. I have to buy my own health insurance. My health insurance is like $550 a month. And a lot of people are scared of that because people are looking for benefits. I'm like, here, here's the thing. You're going to trade your life force, your life essence, for $600, $700 worth of benefits, make $33,000 a year versus coming out here and busting it and making six figures a year and buying your own health insurance. I mean, seriously, we gotta be better than that, folks. We gotta be way better than that. So I'm here to tell you, this year is gonna suck for a lot of people. And for people like myself, it's just gonna be great. You wanna know why? Because I'm working on making it great. I am putting together things to make it great. I am building, I'm creating. I'm, you gotta get busy. Just being, chilling with Big Booty Betty at home, just doing your thing. It's gonna catch up with you, man. It's gonna catch up with you. So that's all I got. So go below, get the free courses, and I will see you guys in the next video.